All right, gang, I'm outside for July in Georgia. It's been fairly nice. It's been in the high 80s. Uh, it's going to be like that for the rest of next week. This is Saturday. It was like that all last week. I've actually had my air conditioner turned off and loving it. The power bill is going to be nice this month. So anyway, this is a car, a pedal car, and I believe it was made in Korea. It's called the Sportster's Junior, and it's a Beetle. Now, in the 90s, when these things came out, and I can't tell you how long they were out, I think they came out in the 90s. I don't know how long they ran. They had an electric car and a pedal car. I wanted to buy the electric car for my son. He was born in 91, and the wife killed that. Nope, can't do it. Too expensive. So instead, I bought him a Power Wheels Mickey Mobile, and I'll probably do a video on that, because I've looked online, like eBay and, and uh, Google, and the version he has is a motorcycle, and all I, all I see is sport coupes. But anyway, let's check this out. My sister sent me some texts. Uh, one of her friends, her and her husband, bought another house, and they were downsizing because he had too many projects, and he loved putting together pedal tractors and pedal cars and bicycles. Well, you know, all the stuff he had I wasn't interested in because I'm the AMF tractor guy, not the Murray guy. That's because I had AMF tractors, and I've got videos of those. So you see them if you want to, uh, but he had this, and it was hanging in his shed, his lawnmower shed, it had all the stuff, all the ones he hadn't gotten to, and it was, it had like a oily film all over it, it was just nasty feeling, but I got her to pick it up for me, and I was missing the windshield, one of the signal lights on the fender, and it needs a steering wheel, the steering wheel, this one is broken, uh, I'll show you where it's broke at in a second. So she picks it up for me. I start immediately looking for parts. So I found uh, the windshield and paid a lot for the windshield. I'm, not, I'm too ashamed to tell you what I paid for it. I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it. But I got the windshield because it, it makes a huge difference with the windshield my, uh, than not having a windshield. Uh, and I, bought, I got the signal lights. So I got two, but only put one on because I, I want to keep it as original as possible. But, uh, this is a good looking little car. It's metal. And uh, in case I didn't say it, it may have, but it's made in Korea, I believe. It's sturdy as all get out. And I guess that's why it was pretty expensive. And uh, it, But it does have dings and scrapes and all that. So when my, I went and picked it up for my sister, my brother in law asked me, was I going to strip it down and restore it? I said, no, I'm leaving it just like it is because uh, the, the dings and scrapes, that's part of his life, part of his history tell you some kid enjoyed it now it's got all four hubcaps and uh, the wheels are plastic but the back wheels have these rubber treads and this one both of them need to be replaced the car is no longer going to be a pedal car for kids sorry I'm free-handed uh, I keep moving the camera around but the car is not going to be a toy anymore uh, I, but I would like to find those uh, rubber sec pieces to put back on both tires they, it, both of them are on with the car but they they suck uh, they keep falling off they're no good so here we go uh, the center the hubcaps all of them on there but it doesn't have vw it has a star uh, i wonder why they didn't put a vw in it both the decals are still on it and like i said there's dents all in it and i, I kind of like it uh, and the tail lights show a lot of a lot of age, and both tail lights are on it. And this is the original tail light. Uh, I make you a deal. I'm standing in front of my mower. Uh, got it out to cut grass, but I just did not feel like cutting grass. So if I fall, trip over backwards, and make a make a strange sound on that, I promise you, I won't delete it off this video. I will post it, but I'm gonna do my best not to trip over my mower. I love a mower. It's a Bronco, Troy built. I have a Ford Bronco, and I'm rambling. So anyway, it's got the old 60s era bumper. I'm not a Volkswagen expert, but I don't know, 50s and 60s had that bar on them. I don't know how long it went. Both headlights are still there. And this, this is the light I had to replace. Uh, there's somebody that is selling them individually, so I started watching them. He has red ones and yellow ones and I and at the time he only had one set of the yellow ones and I think I, he was asking $20 for the set plus shipping and I'm like okay somebody already bid on it so I bid up on it and uh, I proxy bid it and lost it for about $30 
and because uh, I really wanted them. I wanted to get this put together fast. Well, after that bed went off, he posted another one, so and I got him for 20 bucks. So I got an extra one just in case one of them is damaged, which would probably be that one, the original. Uh, it's got the little chrome in them on the hood, and that's pretty cool. And there's dents in the hood. I mean, you'll see them scratches to the metal. And oh, that's a good, good dent right there. And that's the windshield. And like I said, I'm not going to tell you what to pay for that. It's like, man, it hurt, but I pulled the trigger on it because a lot of people was watching it, and I was determined to get it. Because I was even contemplating buying a junk car online because I can't find them around here anymore. But I thought about if I could, here comes the train. Here, uh, but if I could find a junk car online that had a good steering wheel and windshield, I was going to buy it. And then possibly piece out the rest of it on eBay or turn it into something else. But I didn't do it. I just chose to overpay for a windshield. So, uh, yeah, that's one of my EMF tractors in the background. That's the one I leave on the front porch. I did a video on it talking about how I saw it on eBay fairly cheap. And uh, I was buying it for parts. But when, I, when it got here to the house, I realized that it was just a bad overspray job with paint. So I turned around and cleaned it up with oven cleaner and got all the paint off of the, the excess paint. And there you have it. It's got the broke engine off of one of the other ones. Because I was just piecemealing this one. And the kids actually ride it when they come around. Uh, but the steering rod is a bit bent, so sometimes the steering locks up on it. And you see how I drifted away from the Volkswagen. There's that train. All right, so the decal is still here on this side. Uh, as I said, the, all four hubcaps are on it. And there's scrapes and scratches uh, around the uh, edges of the car. They have uh, this chrome piece. Now, under, behind here, behind the windshield, there's these two holes. I think that has to do something for the electric powered car, the battery powered car. Uh, as I said, the steering wheel's broke, and you see it's broke right here. And it's missing the horn button, which is okay because it's probably got one of those horns that gives me chills. You know, like the old bicycle horns when you squeeze the rubber ball on the end, it makes a horrible sound. I can't stand that sound. It gives me chills every time. Okay, I didn't mention that the tag on the front is missing. This is a TS110, and uh, but the bumper on the rear is really nice. Uh, it's loose, and I can't get it to tighten any tighter than that so what I'm thinking about doing is getting me some grommets or something and pulling the bumper off putting grommets on it and or just leave it alone because if I sit on it too much and somebody kicks it or hits it hard it might keep it from breaking so, so seeing that's got some play on it uh, big dent there and like I said it gives it all character I mean that's sweet uh, tail lights show age uh, you can buy new tail lights but I didn't I'm actually thinking about buying a set of extra tail lights just in case. I got boxes in my shed with extra parts of for all the pedal cores. Uh, there's the pedals. There's two little pedals with a little rubber uh, pad on them or plastic pads. You see the frame. There's the steering mechanism. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty cool little pedal car. Now, when my dad had his Volkswagen thing, one of my brothers went to the traveling carnival and brought back a stuffed ostrich, and my dad put it in the front seat passenger side when he drove the car. It was just something stupid, and it was funny, uh, but he actually put the seatbelt on it. So uh, I couldn't find an ostrich, but I found a pink flamingo, so he sits in the car. Don't ask me why I did that. It's just, I guess, an homage, if you will, uh, from times in the past that were really good. All right, gang, that's uh, hopefully the last pedal car I uh, buy, but I'll say never say never. Guys, thanks for viewing. Have a great one.